Hey, witchlings, we're live. <sighs> okay, hold on. Nothing in particular. There it is. Shutting the door. Okay. <laughs> Chaos reigns, as always. Oh, my head is itchy. Okay, give me just a second to finish, you know, pulling the mop up off of my neck. It's not super warm, but I just took off a hoodie, so I am warm. We are at that wonderful time of year in the Pacific Northwest, where <sighs> it's too chilly outside for just a t-shirt, but too warm inside to wear a hoodie. Gotta love it. <laughs> okay. That, lock that. Okay, um, what am I doing here? I thought I was organized. They were there being taught. There's a puppy under my feet. Okay, not a puppy. He is 12, so he's not a puppy. It's one of those days. Hope that's staying there. All right. Check in with one other friend. Say, hey, we're live. Okay. Can't remember if you said you were gonna make it today or not. I know I am absolutely blessed in the fact that most of my viewers are, you know, my friends and family right now. I am so blessed and incredibly grateful. I have an amazing support system. And I love my fa family and friends for that. <sighs> Today is a day already, but it's Friday. That's a good thing. So I am happy to hear, happy about that. Oh, goodness. Um, sad news today. Um, we'll be lighting our candle here in a moment, and that will be one of the pieces of sad news. Sad news part number two, Gypsy Rose. She and her husband are splitting up. Well, it's not, you know, incredibly surprising, considering, you know, they did get married while she was still in prison for killing her mother, which I fully support her having done poor young woman. It's still kind of sad. But she, I just read an article about it. Apparently she did delete all of her social media last week or so, which was probably the smartest thing she could have done. Because that girl, that girl really needs the time and the opportunity to just figure out who the hell she is, you know, um, before she becomes so, well, at the moment she's infamous, but before she becomes a fucking celebrity. I know a lot of people were saying that before she was released. And I was in agreement with that, and I will continue to say it now that that girl is out. She so, so very much deserves a nice, quiet, peaceful, normal life. Or as normal as it can be after the childhood she had. So, you know, I am cheering for her. I, for one, do not expect a book, 
an autobiography, a tell-all, you know, any of that shit from her. We've already got the fucking TV shows and all of that. So, I don't expect shit from her now. Let the girl live her life and just be. Oh, that poor girl. She has been through enough. I mean, people were speculating about whether she was pregnant. And I'm sitting here going, oh, with all the shit her mother put her through, A, does she even want kids? And B, can she have kids after what her mother did to her? There is a very good chance that with some of the shit she was put through, because, you know, she had a feeding tube, her mother said she had cancer, and some of that shit... Is she even capable of having kids? Let's quit speculating on the poor girl. And I just did it. I'm so sorry. I mean, ugh. ugh. I'm guilty of it myself, but holy shit. This obsession with, you know, the private lives of celebrities is just so fucked up. Let them be for the love of all things holy. And a few things that ain't, you know? <sighs> all right. <sighs> okay, what am I doing here? I'm going to take a drink of coffee. <laughs> Me and my coffee. <laughs> hmm. Have you taken your meds today? Have you drunk some water today? Have you eaten yet today? Mmm. I'm going to start reminding us of that. I like that idea. Urgh! As soon as I get done on this, I am calling and scheduling my surgery. I'm telling you guys to keep myself accountable. Life is good. All right. Okay, we got that, we got that, we got that. All right. What am I doing? That's what I'm doing. Trim to that. Move Mr. Rogers over here so I don't lose it. And here we go. I learned... As I was, you know, doing my social media check-ins this morning, um, something led me to IMDb, and I learned that an actor that I used to very much admire when I was a kid passed away last night early this morning. Kind of sad about that. So, my candle this morning, this morning, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, but my candle this afternoon... is for him we shall light Mr. Lou Gossett Jr.'s way through the veil and across the river stick. May his memory be a blessing. I love that. I love that phrase. I'm totally stealing it from my Jewish friend. That was bad news number one for me. Bad news number two was good news. Although, I'm not sure if that's such bad news. I do feel bad for her because, you know, she thought she had found her Prince Charming. But, maybe not. And, now, breathing. Breathing again. Now, I gotta find what I'm looking for. It's one of those days. Here we go. Oh, the music cuts off rather abruptly there. I'm gonna be fixing that. <laughs> oh.
Okay, so I'm very happy to say <laughs> that today's cards, whoops, do not start with the tower. Thank the gods. Oh, thank you, boy. So today's first card is actually a very positive card. We have the Ace of Cups. Why is it backwards? That is not good. Hold on. I'll be right back. I gotta fix that. All right, I clicked something here that I shouldn't have. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Oh, there we go. Now you can read it. The Ace of Cups. <clears throat> something beautiful and full of love has just begun, and your cup is so full, it spills out into a pool below. You'll feel yourself filled with radiant positivity, happiness, and joy. Be receptive. You've been blessed with life-giving love, so welcome all your new endeavors. Next, we have the King of Wands. The commanding leader, totally confident in their actions and abilities, the king can be an inspiring teacher or a boss you really respect. If the king is you, it might be time to step up and take control in a particular situation. Don't be afraid to take the lead. You can channel your passions into action and energy. You've got the skills to be in charge. And then our final card for today is the Nine of Swords. The swords hang high above your head, and you are wide awake at night. You can't sleep as your mind is just consumed with anxiety, despair, and an impending feeling of doom. Maybe you're going through something truly terrible, or maybe you've been building up an obstacle to be larger than it actually is. Um, you know what? I am seeing that my microphone isn't picking me up for a while, so we're going to move it. Either way, it's okay to feel scared or anxious. Talk about it with someone that you trust and try to look to the future. <laughs> now, scooch those, grab these. Ah, our oracle cards. For some reason, the word oracle likes to, you know, evade my memory. To go with our beautiful and full of love, it is karmic. I like that idea. I like the fact that karma is giving us love today. Um, ooh, commanding leader, confident in your abilities and actions, an inspiring teacher or a boss that you really respect. All of those things, unfortunately, can be triggers for certain people, so be mindful. You can still channel your passions into action and energy and be, you know, confident, but be mindful of the fact that these things can be triggering for some people, and when you trigger them, don't call them a fucking snowflake. Be kind, be empathetic. And be, you know, caring. These are not weaknesses. These are signs of, you know, a good leader. And finally, when you are dealing with, you know, anxiety, despair, and a sense of impending doom, or maybe even just building up, building a mountain out of a molehill, someone is your light. Hmm, that's the only one that didn't really fit today, so maybe for whoever out there this car this reading is for, it will make sense to you. There's usually somebody. I just scratched myself. That did not feel good. I am talented. Today's rune <laughs> my fingers aren't working. Is do. Oh, I 
I have munchkin text. Patience. Boom. Uh, it is La Goose, which, yep, hi, there you go, La Goose, which means, okay, our divinity is Niord and Nerthus. The letter is L. The symbol is the tide. Must be an Alabama fan, right? The element is water. Tree is the willow, the apple, and uh, the willow, the apple, the wicker, and the ash tree. The plant is the leek. The stone is the pearl, the opal, and a round, smooth pebble. The color is turquoise, which is the color of the sea, and say hello to the furry overlord. The animals are the salmon and the dolphin. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, and Sergeant is guarding the door. <laughs> He's such a good puppy. Oh, hello, Vanna. Did you catch the today's cards? None of them are the tower. <gasps> such a good thing. Today's rune, since you're just hopping in, um, is La Goose. La Goose. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, no tower card today. Our, our cards are the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands, and the Nine of Swords. So we have lots of love that is karmic. A commanding, totally confident leader, um, which, for unfortunately for some people, is triggering. So, you know, be mindful of that. And then um, anxiety, despair, and an impending feeling of doom. But we have a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm thinking we maybe learned what we needed and considering... The anniversary is happening this week, yesterday, and tomorrow. Yes. <coughs> uh, that was me, you dingbat. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> somebody has been hypersensitive to any knocking sound. Um, I set my coffee cup down on the counter yesterday. Um, Mike knocked on his desk. I just thumped my desk with my thumbs just now. That's what set him off now. The least little knocking sounds. And he's barking. I know he's getting old. He's probably, his hearing is starting to go. His eyes are clouding so he can't see real well. I mean, his boy, he went with me to pick his boy up from a play last night. And, um... We stopped at the store on the way home. The boy picked up stuff, pick, took stuff out of the car into the house, and then came back out to the car. And puppy boy and I were still in the car. He barked at puppy. He barked at his boy coming back out to the car. Yeah, he getting old, but that's okay. We still love him, and he's he's still doing really well. Just. His senses aren't all there. He's still, personality-wise, he's still himself. So, La Goose. We shall go back over the, 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 the generalities. That's the word I'm looking for. The divinity is Njord and Nerthus. I love the, 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 he will be here when you get home, honey. I promise. We will keep him kicking until then. The divinities are Njord and Nerthus. I love the names of some of the um, Nordic gods and goddesses. The letter is L. The symbol is the tide. As I said, I think we're an Alabama fan here. The element is water. The trees are the willow, apple, wicker, and ash tree. Again, Alabama fan. What can I say? 
if you know, you know. Um, the plant is the leek. The stones are pearl, opal, and a round, smooth pebble. Are we sure it's not a penguin? The color is turquoise, the color of the sea. And the animals are salmon and the dolphin. Yep, I'm definitely thinking it's got some penguin going on here. So, only by attunement to creation will your life truly flow as it is meant to. Emotional balance comes from harmony with creation around you. For example, natural foods lead to natural flow, whereas unnatural foods lead to disharmony and stagnation. So what does that say about my junk food? <laughs> the sea is always fluid and moving, so it should be with your life. Embrace change itself, for it is the only true constant in life. Dude, if that is not the truth. <sighs> La goose is the rune of water and signifies the mysterious depths of the earth and soul. It represents the unconscious and esoteric workings of the mind and the collective memory deep within our species. Water connects all things and makes traveling to new lands possible. Very true. This relates to the astral plane as well, where all realms can be reached via this metaphysical water. God damn it, I gotta pick, grab um, Yasmin's books and find the name of that sea. Da, 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 da. La goose is this connective tissue that makes all destinations of the physical, mental, and spiritual reachable. La Goose represents travel overseas and other water sources. It bears the promise of success, but not without hardship. It insists that we, quote, go with the flow and let time take its course with forces out of our control. Yes, it's the Ionic Sea. Oh, thank you so very much. It's been driving me nuts for months that I couldn't remember that. Um. Be calm about the things that you cannot control in life and do not let those forces cause storms in your internal seat. Use this rune for calm, clear, and focused insight. La Goose represents our subconscious mind, its strange workings, and its patterns. Like the ocean, it is dark and mysterious, but not in an evil or sinister way. This darkness is a perplexing type of darkness, something we are unable to understand fully, an anomaly of our perception. We are constantly learning of new life and patterns hidden within its murky depths, forcing us to reevaluate what is possible. Am I the only one who's seen the, 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 the first Aquaman movie? You know, that was kind of cool. In this internal ocean, some places are calm and some are treacherous. That was the series I was referring to that I needed to. Um, so in, our, in this internal ocean, some places are calm and some are treacherous, but all are connected in a constant stream of connectivity and flow. I know that Smokey uses the Ionic Sea, as does, um, what's his fuck the demon that they pick up in the later books? I can't remember his name. I like him, though. He, he's the dream demon. And he ends up being, you know, a pretty cool addition. I really, really need to pick up the last few books in the series. Um, unfortunately, when she went indie, I wasn't able to pick up the last few books in the series, so I don't know how it ends, and I need to because I'm dying to know. Because I really, I fell in love with the characters. Yeah, I got to... Let me look. I have to look now. I'll bring it up. And as I'm bringing it up, oh, come on, damn it. Cooperate phone. My phone is being insanely slow. Um, she was doing Kindle Unlimited for some of them, but unfortunately, she her Amazon does not pay Kindle Unlimited authors enough at all. But
Witchling, Changeling, Darkling? Is Darkling the one you're missing, or is Changeling the one you're missing? Which sister? <laughs> We'll get back to the rune in a second. Ta -ta -ta -ta. Darkling. Oh, you're missing mentally. Oh, I have it. It's in a box under my desk here. So, um, once I lay hands on it, depending on, you know, how long it takes me, I can either get it to you when you get home or I can ship it down to you. I'm leaning towards it's more likely I'm going to hand it to you when you get here. I'm still trying to decide which of the sisters is my favorite. I did dress up as... um. Camille one year for Halloween. And went and met Yasmin dressed up as Camille. That was pretty fucking cool. One of Yasmin's books is highlighted on Amazon today. That's pretty snippy. My phone is being slow. Camille is awesome. Well, see, I love Camille. I absolutely adore her. And she is the oldest. But. I identify with Delilah far too much as the youngest child because I'm pretty, okay. You just said Camille is book three, or fucking mentally is book three. See, I get mentally and Delilah swapped all the time. <laughs> yeah, Amazon isn't cooperating. I'll play with it later. But yeah. I identify with Delilah a lot because, well, yeah, everybody treats her, despite the fact she's an, a full-fledged adult, fully capable of taking care of herself and all of that shit, everybody treats her like she's still a little kid. Exactly. See, but see, I know we're completely off topic, and if anybody else catches this, I do apologize. Um, mentally being the youngest, but she, she doesn't usually get treated like the baby of the family because of the fact, you know, she got turned into the vampire, so she's this badass bitch. But she has the massive PTSD from how that happened, working very hard to not give, you know, spoilers here. But poor Delilah, as the middle child, you know, kind of gets forgotten about. Or because she's the were cat and get, you know, her, her more common wear form is, you know, the little tabby cat. I know you guys can't see him, but kitty cat. She gets, you know, patted on the head. Oh, poor little girl. We 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 have to protect you and you whereas she is Honestly, a badass bitch in her own right. But nobody realizes this. Nobody realizes just how badass she can be because her other form is a fucking house cat. I mean, <laughs> he's, he's chewing on his nails at the moment, but I mean, Buzzbutt is, is an odd cat because we all know he can take on Luna and win, but how many people are going to look at a house cat and think, oh my god, he's going to kill me? My second born, my middle child. They're the only one of their gender. There we go. Why do I always think you're the older of the two of you? Anyway, I get it. But Nyx, middle child, um, they got 
<clears throat> by my mother and, you know, pretty much ignored, which is why they are closer to me or were closer to me than their brothers were growing up. It, it's definitely middle child syndrome. And what is hilarious is that is the same child that nine times out of ten, I have to stop and think to remember how old they are. I, I remember your twins, but for some reason, I always want you to have been the one that popped out first. Okay, moving on. Let, can't wait till I get my new glasses, by the way. Lagoose. Hmm. Read that. Boo, boo, boo. We are constantly learning of new life and patterns hidden within its murky depths, forcing us to reevaluate what is possible. Again, that reminds me of the first Aquaman movie when they go and they, they're looking for his... When they find his mother. They don't realize they're going to find his mother, but they find his mother, the queen. In this eternal, in eternal, in this internal ocean, some places are calm and some are treacherous, but all are connected in a constant stream of connectivity and flow, which is all too true. Lagoose is the mystery surrounding the depths of existence. Oh my God, that sounds so philosophical. It is the patience that allows success to flow unto us and the peaceful reward of outliving the storms of life. Again, sounds incredibly philosophical. Lagos is an omen of good fortune that requires you to follow certain guidelines in order to reach your goals. Be diligent in your conquests and, quote, stay the course no matter how rough the waters may be. Oy, the sailor in me is screaming at this. Lagos is the dark matter that exists in all the spaces between logic and reason, matter and spirit. It's the intuitive process and subconscious workings of the mind and soul, the raw plane on which our mind is operating behind the scenes of our reason. <clears throat> so it's in intuition and emotion is what I'm picking up on. This is where innate qualities of a person's character are held. Oh, excuse me. And where the propulsion for our unknown destiny arises from. Meditate on the goose to understand the fathomless and mysterious darkness of existence. See, I take issue with the word darkness of existence. I, personally, do not see existence as being necessarily dark. However, yin and yang, yin and yin and yang, however you want to say it, there is both. So I guess it's right. I have to remind myself that not everything is bright and light. Yes, I am one of those, you know, love and light people. However, I do not deny the existence of the dark. I have spent far too many years dealing with depression to deny the darkness of life. Bonk. Whoops. So, moving on. La Goose is the rune of water and signifies the mysterious depths of the earth and soul. It represents the unconscious and esoteric workings of the mind, and the collective memory deep within our species. Did I frick? I did. I am wonderful. I managed to copy and paste my notes, one section of my notes twice. I am brilliant. I, I really did, didn't I? Da -da. Yes, I did. Good gravy. I'm having a day. So, in relationships, then, Lagoose can be interpreted as genuine love, a reunion of a couple, or progress in relationships. In specific cases, it can be related to a wedding itself. This rune is a good, good not a goon, it's a goon indicator. Yeah, this rune is a good 
indicator that your love is sincere and that your loved one, nope, and that you can rely on your beloved one in difficult times. <sighs> in a certain context, it recommends you listen to your heart, not doubt your partner, or succumb to those negative emotions. In work, it's an indicator of a good business of good business qualities such as <clears throat> not inhaling saliva, the ability to learn new things, good memory, and attentiveness. Also, it can signify your ability to attract the audience's attention with new ideas. You have a great gift for persuasion. Legus can also be related to a person with an effective stress protection mechanism. Dissociation is not always a bad thing. In terms of career, Legus can signify some information at your disposal that can be very useful for you under certain circumstances. Okay, so our key takeaways here. Are you hearing me okay? Okay, it's listening. Okay. <sighs> I'm looking at my whoopty jigger and it's just, it's not moving much. So I'm going, are you hearing me? Okay. Well, we did fix this. So I'm quite happy about that. We also fixed the issue with the other one. So. Who knows? Anyways, our key takeaways. That's good. Our key takeaways are flow, but not from progressive. I couldn't, I, I couldn't not. Flow, water, sea, a fertility source, which to me goes back to the flow, but it's a red flow. The healing water or the healing power of renewal life energy and organic growth, imagination and psychic matters, dreams, fantasies, mysteries, the unknown, the hidden, the deep, and the underworld. Success in travel or acquisition, but with the possibility of loss. Emotions, fears, unconscious mind, things hidden, revelations, intuition, and counseling. And it's freaking Holy Friday. Not Holy Friday. What is Good Friday? That's what today is. Oh, it's Good Friday. Wow. It's already. Boy. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I am no longer a practicing Christian, but, you know, 20-ish years in the church, certain dates stick, um, and 25 years ago this week, I lost my grandfather, so, you know, this week sticks in my head. Today's goddess. Whoopsie, didn't mean to grab all three of them. <laughs> we have a goddess of luck today. Um, not sure how we ended up with her. She just kind of jumped out at me, so she chose me. We have, uh, I did not look up the pronunciation of her name, so I'm pretty sure it is Tai Chi, Tai Chi, Tai Chi, Tai Chi. <sighs> goddess of luck. She is Greek. I have an itch. Pardon me. Um, she is the Greek version of the Roman goddess Fortuna. Her mythology. Goddess. I proofread. 
but I missed one. Goddess of Fortune and Luck. Tai Chi is a blind goddess who is often portrayed with a blindfold over her eyes. This is a nod to fortune not discriminating upon whom... Apparently I did not proofread anywhere near well enough. <sighs> it bestows luck. <laughs> and it also refers to Tai Chi's following her intuition rather than her sight to better determine the winds of fate. Tai Chi is a blind goddess but it refers to Tai Chi's following her intuition rather than her sight. If she's blind, how is she following her sight? Anyways, the daughter of Titan gods, Oceanus and Tethys. Uh, I want to make sure I got that right. Yep, it just misspelled her mother's name. Tai Chi, or her parent's name, Tai Chi gained immortality and was elevated to a goddess by Zeus, after she helped him save Olympus from Gaia's schemes during a battle with the Titans. She's often portrayed with a wheel of destiny and a cornucopia, as she oversees both the direction of one's luck and the abundance of life. A fickle goddess, Tai Chi can turn one's fortunes quickly. That's true. So... In her shrines, worshippers can get their fortunes told, as she also oversees oracles. Since soldiers adored her and often carried her symbols into battle, her legend is spread across many continents. You know what? I think that's why she chose me today. You know, we are fortune telling. Call on Tai Chi when you want good luck and fortune on your side. Make her traditional offerings with honey, milk, and cakes in the shape of a wheel. I have a, I am willing to bet that Tai Chi, Tai Chi, not Tai Chi, <laughs> that Tai Chi is the reason we have that birthday cakes are more often than not a round cake as opposed to a sheet cake. Just my two cents here. Goddess of Luck, Tai Chi, is in your corner. She's appearing before you as a sign that your timing will be exceptionally good right now. So, seize that opportunity. And tap that, lock that, toss that over there. Today is good. Okay, so... Today's namaste, we are doing some conscious breathing. Yeah, my asthma's not been happy, so this is a good reminder today. Remind yourself to breathe throughout the day. Do you find yourself holding your breath or holding tension anywhere in your body? For example, your stomach or your shoulders when you are stressed, focused, or irritated. Yeah, uh, I noticed my shoulders yesterday. Focused breathing, especially when directed to these tense areas, will promote peace of mind and healing. Start with deep breaths into your chest, then into your stomach, and then release. So, I'm thinking... You're going to fill your lungs, and then... That doesn't feel right, though. <laughs> so you're going to take a breath and you're going to let your chest expand and then your belly expand. And then as you exhale, you're going to let your belly collapse and then your chest collapse. It's backwards. Anyway. Next, imagine your breath flowing from the sky into the top of your head and through any areas of tension 
down to the bottom of your feet and into the earth. And then imagine the opposite when exhaling. So you're going to breathe and you're going to pull the oxygen down. And then as you exhale, you're going to bring it back up from the earth and out through the top of your head. It's actually kind of relaxing to do that. Conscious breathing is a wonderful stress reliever and can be used throughout the day anytime you notice suspended breaths, tension, a negative thought, or just because. It does help. I'll be honest. Box breathing. Box breathing is a very helpful um, trick. For those of us who are not familiar with box breathing, Vanna, I know, I think you are. Um, box breathing is you breathe in for four, hold for four, exhale for four, hold for four. So what it looks like is... And that's two rounds of box breathing. It's incredibly effective at helping you calm down. Um, it resets, kind of. It's standard meditation, yes, but um, it is generally referred to as box breathing or four by four breathing. Um, it resets the um, parasympathetic nervous system. Now, today's self-compassion, this is one that I keep coming back to. I know we have repeated it a number of times, but it's one that for those of us who have the shitty ass self-esteem, it's, it, it's helpful. Name three things that you like about yourself. I like my sense of humor. It, it, it's corny, it's dark, it's morbid, but I love my sense of humor. I like my resiliency. I'm a fucking weeble. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. Okay? I get knocked down. I get back up and keep going. I am a resilient-ass bitch. And what is the third thing I usually say? I like my personality at this point. I have been shot down, put down, made fun of, all of it for my personality because, you know, it's not the most socially acceptable. Yes. But you know what? I have found my tribe. They are like me and they like me. So they accept me for who I am, what I am, all of that shit. And I don't have to change for them. So I now fully accept my personality for what it is. And I like my personality. I can finally be who and what I really am. So, name three things that you like about yourself. And notice how receiving recognition makes them that much stronger. I am a good person at heart. Do I always do good things? No. Am I sometimes... I opened the box upside down. Am I sometimes a vengeful bitch? Yes. Am I prone to going all mama bear on people because, you know, they hurt one of my kids? Oh, hell yeah. But overall, am I a good person? I try very hard to be. And you know what? That's all we can do and can be in this world. Which leads us to a damn good person, Mr. Rogers.
Who doesn't love Mr. Rogers? I mean, seriously. I have yet to meet anyone who does not think that Mr. Rogers is a good person. Hmm. Oh. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh. I'm a bitch. If the day ever came when we were able to accept ourselves and our children exactly as we and they are, then I believe we would have come very close to an ultimate understanding of what good parenting means. It's part of being human to fall short of that total acceptance, and often far short. But one of the most important, important, important gifts a parent can give a child is the gift of accepting that child's uniqueness. For every child who has struggled to get their parent to accept them. Eagle baby. For who and what they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, tonight, we have guided meditation or yoga nidra sana. I remembered. Um, the reason I throw the asana at the end, I have a dear friend who one of these days I will meet him in person, <laughs> who is from Mumbai. Yay, I remembered. I always have to rack my brain to remember where in India he is from. He is from Mumbai. So he grew up with, you know, yoga. Um, and... The last time we did a yoga nidra for our Friday night guided meditation, I did my usual promotion on Facebook and said, yay, yoga nidra in so however long. And um, <laughs> I posted later, you know, I was posting later and he was being his normal self because he has a similar sense of humor to mine about how I survived. And Jenny, who unfortunately is not here today, she's busy, does not know him, does not know our relationship, took offense. And I, I, I had to explain to her, no, it's okay. He is from India. This is his culture. He is flicking me shit. I have a feeling that <clears throat> Yoga Nidra by itself has a completely different meaning in India to what we understand it to mean here in the West. And he came in and said, oh, yes, effectively, what you were saying was the rapture was going to happen live on camera. So, yeah, I, 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 I couldn't resist. And I'm like, I had a feeling it was something like that. So he's like, so from now on, could you, you know, just add the asana to the end of your practices when you're doing um, your yoga classes, yoga asana or yoga nidra asana? And I'm like, I can do that for you because culturally, they're completely different things. <laughs> And so, for his benefit, I try to remember when I am discussing these things to add the asana to the end of it. Because otherwise, he, he will not leave me alone. He will roast me. And I love him for it. Um, so, friends are wonderful. Tonight, we will be doing a guided meditation or a yoga nidra asana. 
have not decided yet. I do sincerely apologize for the lack of podcast last night. Life just went totally off the rails. It's been a week. Um, because we have fixed the microphone thing, I do plan on doing yoga tomorrow. As long as, you know, the demon for children will let me. And my body. Dude. Um, when I tried to record last week's class. Or week, no, it was week before last. Um, well, okay, backing up week before last, I went to go into triangle pose and my brain just flat would not do it. I could not. And it's a pose I do all the time. My brain just flat would not comprehend how to do it. So that was fun. And then I tried to record last week's class before I went away for the weekend. And yeah, my body went, ha ha, fuck you. So, hopefully, this week we will succeed. Um, so, that is this weekend's plans. And then Monday, we will be back at the Daily Draw. We're having fun here. So, I hope all of you fantabulous, wonderful people have a magical, joyous, blessed day. I am going to... GTFO, and I will see you, wonderful darling people, in a few hours. I love you, and spread joy, spread kindness, spread happiness, and have a wonderful day.